What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to your flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, I think I tore a muscle or something, but you guys wanted an oil change, so I've got another one here in the old Wally world. And yes, people wanted to answer a question. I've looked it up. From what I can find, you always want to make sure your filter is not damaged. PF63 is the AC Delco number. You can see, probably checked it, it's not damaged. I've got the other one on there already. PF63, nine dollars and something at Walmart. Get them in advance. Maybe not advanced, but you can on AutoZone. Auto zone. These are the only ones I'll be using them. I just wanted these clean so I could touch the camera. Pens oil, ultra platinum. You all want me to try it? I did a flush to flush the rest of AMS oil out. So this 5,000 miles, we'll see how it does. Eight quarts, five quart jug at AutoZone. Uh, was, I think the total with the filters ended up being like 78, 80 bucks with my rewards. And these, so eight quarts, five quart jug, three quarts, that's eight, plus the filter. And what I always do is fill the filter up almost to the top. And then I put a little bit around the gasket and around the threads. Then you spin it on and only hand tighten these guys. They do not need to be tightened any further. Hand tighten. They're meant to be hand tightened. Tighten it and when it stops, you stop. Otherwise, you'll cross the gasket and get a leak. So you want to go under here. I got my new pants on. I've already, when you first, what you need as well is maybe a kit like this. Comes with a 15 millimeter. And it's short enough, easy enough to break off. Comes with all your sizes. That's a gear wrench kit. Some rags. Filter wrench. Because the heat cycles and all make it stick a little more. So that's why I say only hand tight. Or you can use one of these type, type uh, wrenches. A funnel from Harbor Freight. This piece screws in there. It's got adapters for every vehicle. And then this caps off. I'll spray that with brake clean a little bit. It's got a little flap here. So some brake clean. Get this can or a smaller can. This was on sale. So I scooped a couple of them up. And these are nice rags from Harbor Freight. Well, you see I got my pan and my old filter. I don't know if you can see the new filter. But she's on there. I cleaned all that up. I got to clean the grease and all. Where I, over, where I put grease on and didn't I forgot to wipe it off. It has slung everywhere. So I got to take all that off and clean all that off good. That will be another video. But they're doing well. Cogninos, I got some... New KSB end links. Those are not on correctly and they're torqued. I think they're a little too tight. They're 17 foot pounds. But the old oil is in there. New oil is in, eight quarts. That's torqued down to 18 foot pounds, the drain bolt. That is a new drain bolt. Uh, they say every time to put a new drain bolt on. I do it every couple or so. It's cheap enough, you know. What the heck? It's AC Delco. You can get Dorman. There's other brands. Maybe I'll get it from Fushimoto or whatever it is. Drain valve. We'll see. Um, filters on there. Clean around the housing also. Oil doesn't drip. I got to clean the cross member because there's still some on there a little bit where it shot out. And I had my hand in front of it. So, there's that. But these pants are awesome. They're fleece lined. They're Coleman. They were cheap at Sam's Club. Wipe the oil off there with some not as the wheel and tire McGuire's. Got some oil spilled from last time. Clean that off. Now with the catch can, if you have a UPR or an RX dual valve like I have, it's got this piece that connects there. And you'll have this valve here that goes in there. And what you want to do before you take it off anyway, or before you drain it, is take that out and take the dipstick out. So gravity do its thing but i found the easiest way to get this off is to push it 
we'll push it back on here and then you push it back on here it just clicks in and everything's nice and tight always check your valves make sure they're not loose i'm gonna get new hoses and all because it's just time it's time for a maintenance schedule on this and i'll be draining this to put rain x in it or pumping that one too but that's that's basically it check your coolant and all coolant level is good i'll top it off a little bit been a couple years or so um i'll do a flush at some point and at some point i gotta take this off again because i gotta put a belt tensioner on and a belt so i'll do that in another video um so yeah um belt looks pretty good from what i can tell but yep so i'll show you guys how to do that when i do that here coming up here soon and i'm thinking about hopefully if it'll work is taking this bolt out here and mounting a catch can up here um, I'm not sure that might not work because of this yeah that's that hose isn't gonna be long enough I don't think um, yeah so maybe not shoot um, well I'll come up with something different here because I don't like their bolt up system as much but I can figure that out at some point um, but yeah hoses are good they're collapsed now because there's nothing in there but I'll top the coolant off and I'll drain the washer fluid I tried a different brand didn't work as well as I'd hope cheaper brand yeah I know get what you pay for right and this is coming out so I gotta fix that but we'll do a video on that <laughs> maybe not the coolant because it's just a little bit see what a full mark is it's just a little bit it's not really losing any uh, thermostats working good water pumps not squealing or squeaking or nothing when you take the belt off so you always just check that whenever you have the belt off you always want to check your thermostat pulley your alternator pulley and all that alternators charging good at 14.5 14.7 so anywhere between 13 or so we'll go in that in another video if you want I uh, just did the brake fluid had that done I don't do that. I don't have a vacuum pull right now. I have one, but it's down. So I don't, and that's a long time consuming job. And the last couple times I just haven't had time to do it. So hopefully I'll have time to do flush. If not, I'll have, you know, a group of guys that I know real well and do good work and don't rake you over the coals. I'll have them do it. Yes, yeah, stalker's back on. Got a couple different ways I'm thinking about going with this. Um, over the paper filter as I got leaves and everything else here pine shats and trees but yeah I mean it's uh it's been good been good so I gotta get some fuel later and I'll do some 0 to 60 times for you guys as well with the pedal commander but all the hoses are nice and tight and all and we'll check them transmission fluid's good I'll do a change maybe this year or next year I've already done some more than enough of them so I'll show you guys a video on that. I'm um, still looking at a good transmission pan with a drain bolt, hopefully. Um, I haven't found that quite yet. So that vacuum line, the old plastic. Uh, but yeah, so, yep, um, I'll go over that stuff in another video, but I'll do a cleaning video and the boots, the axle boots and stuff, I'll show you guys what I use, I learned it from Scotty Kilmer, I'll give him credit, I'm not going to take credit where it's not mine, and I'll show you guys here in a second how to reset the oil life, I guess. Might as well do that, huh? So let's clean this stuff up. Okay, put that back in the pan a minute. Set you down for a second. I'll take my gloves off. Okay, let's go in here. You can hear it chirping at me. I got clean. Do some cleaning. I'm gonna try the new thing here, but we'll go. Yeah, I know. Hood's open. Don't like that and 
97%. So I don't know if it'll pick it up on the screen. You push your foot on the uh, on the accelerator three times. No. no, maybe not. Let's try it again. There you go, 100%. I know why I didn't do it the first time. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, you can go through here and use these buttons to do it. <clears throat> I'll take a picture of the mileage. Guess I'll do that on my phone. Oh, I can do that before I leave. But I got some clean do, some organization. I'll show you guys that. I'll go over my Cobra dash cam as well. Do a video on that. Don't know if I'll get to the cleaning of the uh, control arms and all that day. But I'll try. Um, but just want to go over that. It's the Penzo Ultra Platinum. So we'll see how that does over 5,000. Uh, I did a few hundred miles. Almost 1,000 miles. Uh, with the other uh, It's held up good with the oil life monitor Don't know how accurate that thing is, but it's done as well as the AMS oil so far um, It was clean when I took it out still almost a thousand miles or so 800 or whatever so I want to Something like that says so it's been well over a few hundred so I wanted to flush it to get the rest of the AMS oil out and all so I could do a fair um test with it and it, it does well the engine doesn't run any different and it just as quiet so i mean minus the exhaust leak which we fixed this thursday <clears throat> um yeah so i'm excited got a ton more some vacuuming got a new tool my wife gave me that i'm looking forward to using i gotta wash these seat covers gotta put the back one on still so plenty more to do guys remember to like subscribe comment share and notifications once we hit 100 doing a free giveaway in a couple of days or so, I'll let you know what I've decided to do with the air filter. Uh, two options. I'll go over those, and then I'll tell you which one I'm going with. But truck's doing great. Once that exhaust leak's fixed, that'll be great. Because you can hear it. It's annoying until it warms up, and then you don't hear it. But it is what it is. They're infamous for it. I don't know why. But it's not running rough. No codes. Already had scan tool. Just checking for knock sensor or anything stupid. None of that so far. Um, so yeah. And show you the wife's new headlights. And all that stuff. So once we hit 100 doing a free giveaway guys. Remember to love this video and all. And uh, throw your comments down below. Love you guys and I'll catch you on another video. Peace.